Good evening. Hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Buenas noches. ¿Cómo están? I hope that everyone is fine and safe. Espero que cada uno y cada una esté bien, ¿verdad? Y seguros. Okay. Um, we are going to wait just a couple of minutes for people to join us. Vamos a esperar unos minutitos eh, para que las demás personas se nos vayan uniendo. So I welcome to Daniel Chacón, to Claudia Quintanilla, to Israel Lemus, eh, Merari, Etiel, Edson. Okay, welcome. I'm going to start sharing my screen of the platform in order to connect eh, the content. And we are going to start with the last knowledge check. Vamos a iniciar con el último knowledge check, ¿verdad? Uh, this is about uh, what are these and uh, for example we are talking about singular um, I mean plural uh, close objects and singular close objects. Recuerden que en la plataforma solo íbamos a estudiar lo que era this, la i corta, verdad? This y these, verdad? Eh, objetos cercanos de manera singular o objetos cercanos de manera plural. So here you have the instructions that says, eh, observe las siguientes imágenes y formule la pregunta o respuesta correcta. ¿verdad? So the question says, eh, ¿qué son estos? Or what are these? Plural, ¿verdad? Estos o estas. Y la respuesta, they are keys. Son las llaves, ¿verdad? So, uh, you have to look for this image. Tiene que ver por uh, esta imagen, ¿verdad? And then it says, uh, what's this? Okay, number two. It's a CD player, it's a backpack, or it's a radio. So if you connect the number two with the number two, it's a CD player, right? Okay, number three. What? Okay, are. And then it says, they are backpacks. Okay, so we are talking about plurals. So we say, what are these? What are these? Because it's plural. And the number four, what's this? This, singular, short I. La I corta en pronunciación, ¿verdad? Para singular, this. It's a watch, it's a CD player, or it's a computer. If you connect the number one, the number four with the number four, you can say, it's a watch. Remember that watch is the one that I use here in my wrist. And the one that is on the wall, you call it clock. ¿Verdad? El que ponemos en la pared se llama clock. Y el que tenemos aquí en la muñeca se llama watch. Okay, number six. What are these? Right? Uh, what are these? And you connect the number, number six, with the number six here, and then you say the answer, their sunglasses. The first one, their sunglasses. Okay? Do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí en este ejercicio, en este knowledge check. Todo mundo lo resolvió ya. Sí, teacher, ahí sí ya vamos. Ok, ok. Perfecto. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes, Excellent. Yes, ok, perfecto. Solo déjenme responder brevemente a alguien de los compañeros que me ha escrito. Ok, perfecto. Vamos. Eh, vamos a dejar, ok, vamos a continuar. Let's continue with the uh, next topic for today. Vamos a continuar con el tema de hoy. I will include in the drive, en el drive, en el acceso del drive que les mandé, voy a incluir la presentación eh, de esta clase, ¿verdad? Que creo que no se las mandé, la de los demonstrative eh, pronouns and adjectives. And then uh, I will include today's. Le voy a incluir la de hoy, así vamos a ir incluyendo, ¿verdad? Para que en el mismo link, 
para que a medida usted vaya eh, dando clic sobre el link que yo les mandé, usted va a poder perfectamente descargar las, las presentaciones, ¿verdad? Únicamente que van en PDF porque son bastante pesaditas en imagen. Ok. The two-point find lesson objective says that by the end of this class, you will learn how to form yes, no, and where questions with be. Ok. Entonces vamos a estar trabajando preguntas con el verb be. And the yes, no questions are those that you only have two possible choices. Las, las preguntas de respuesta si no es eso, ¿verdad? Donde usted solo tiene dos opciones posibles, sí o no. And when we talk about where questions, cuando hablamos de las preguntas de where, estamos hablando de WH questions o preguntas con WH. That means that you need to provide additional information. Significa que usted debe de proveer información adicional. So, um, let me advance. And in a platform, you have these yes, no questions with be. Preguntas de sí, no con el verbo to be. And then in the platform, you have this video where you can look for the structure. Verb to be plus this and this plus the complement. Okay, for example, is this your wallet? Are these your keys? Is this your cell phone? Okay. So I invite you to go and watch the video and give your um, examples in the discussion forums, ¿ok? Recuerde que este es un foro de discusión y después que usted ve el video, usted puede opinar acá, ¿verdad? Or uh, provide your examples, proveer sus ejemplos. Ok, when we go to the, uh, after we finish this class, we will go to the Knowledge Check 2.7 that basically uh, that we have to complete the conversation and select the correct answer for each sentence or question. For example, this your umbrella. No, it is not. So for this question, we need to look that we are talking about singular. It's only one umbrella. So we use yes. Is this your umbrella? No, it's not. Okay. Look here. These your kids? Yes, they are. Thanks. So we start the question with are, is, or what, if we are talking about plural. ¿Con cuál comenzamos? Si estamos hablando de un plural, comenzamos con are, con is, or con what? Are. Are, ¿verdad? Excelente, porque aquí tuvimos una respuesta de sí, ¿verdad? Sí y no. Entonces es, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thanks. Number three, are my glasses? Vea, y de la respuesta es diferente, no dice yes or no, sino que dice they are on the table. So, do you think that we use how, where, or when? Where. Where, right? Because I'm asking about the place. If someone has seen my sunglasses and where, the place where they are. So we say, where are my glasses? They are on the table. Okay. Number four, is this my pen? It's just a question to say yes or no. So the answer, no. No. It it's, is, not. it's not or it is or they are not. It's not. It's not, but that because we are talking about only one pen, it's singular. So I say, no, it's not. It's mine. No, no es tuya, verdad, es mía. And that's it. And we finish the, this knowledge. Okay, so... Um, if time allows us, we will uh, start prepositions today. If not, this is going to be the, the topic for tomorrow. Remember that this week we are starting on Tuesday and we are going to finish by Friday, okay? Because we need to complete the part that we didn't study uh, yesterday. Esta semana, verdad, reiterando, la comenzamos en martes y la terminamos en viernes. Um, Porque, pues, el, el feriado, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, vamos a tener clases hasta el día viernes. Y eh, eh, this week, we are going to finish section two and finish section three. And then we are going to finish the midterm exam. Esta semana vamos a completar lo que sería la sección dos, eh, que ya prácticamente la estamos eh, bien avanzada, eh, and the section three. Y la sección número tres, and then we are going to have the eh, midterm exam. Y... También vamos a completar el examen de medio periodo, ¿verdad? So I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to show you my presentation that I have for you tonight.
in order that we continue learning. Okay, uh, we are going to study the yes no questions with the structure. Esta sería como la estructura de las preguntas eh, cuya respuesta es sí o no. Excuse me. Just let me, okay. So, the statement, remember that the statement normally is an affirmative question, and we say, uh, am I a doc I'm a, I am a doctor. So, I'm saying I am a doctor. Estoy afirmando, ¿verdad? Soy un doctor. But if I want to uh, have a negative statement, I add the particle not, and then I say, I am not a doctor. To formulate a question, remember that in this case, I have to move the verb be at the beginning of the sentence and say, am I a doctor? Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. You are correct. You are not correct. Are you correct? Yes, you are. Or no, you aren't. So the short answer is only possible uh, with two choices, yes or no, right? Affirmative or negative. He is from England. He is not from England. Is he from England? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. She's busy. She's not busy. Is she busy? Remember that when you're asking a question, we need to give intonation, the proper intonation. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. It, it is a cat. It is not a cat. Is it a cat? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. We are ready. No, uh, excuse me, we are ready. We are not ready. Are we ready? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. You're hungry. We are not hungry. Are you hungry? Yes, you are. No, you aren't. They are the same. They are not the same. Are they the same? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Okay, now, I have here a yes, no questions with the examples, right? Are these Thomas blocks? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Is this Anna's doll? Yes, it is. No, it, is, no, it isn't. Remember that you can say it is not and it's correct. Recuerde que usted también puede responder de la forma completa diciendo it is not or um, they are not, ¿verdad? En lugar de aren't. Aren't and isn't son la contracted form, son la forma contractada, ¿verdad? Are those your shoes? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Is that your umbrella? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Okay, so... Uh, in this exercise, it says answer this uh, kind of yes no questions with yes or no, followed by the subject and verb be plus not. Notice that we can use the apostrophes. We cannot use apostrophes with positive answers though. Okay, con las respuestas afirmativas, eh, no necesariamente usamos el apóstrofe, verdad? Sino que lo dejamos en la forma completa. Yes, I am. Eh, y solamente eh, en, la, en la negativa podemos contractar el subject pronoun I con el verb be y decir no, I'm not. Esa es la única manera de poderlo hacer. That's the only way we can do it. Yes, you are. Eh, podemos decir también eh, no, you aren't. Aquí sí podemos contractar, pero de la otra manera eh, no es recomendable, ¿verdad? Yes, she is. Eh, no, she isn't. Pero es muy raro, ¿verdad? Con, contractarlo de esta manera. Entonces, the ones that have the red X, they are not recommendable, ¿ok? Las que están marcadas con chequecito rojo o con crucita roja eh, son las que no son eh, correctas, ¿verdad? Ok, what about the questions? Am I late? Yes, you are. No, you aren't. Are you late? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she, he, it late? Yes, he, she, it is. No, she, he, it isn't. Are we late? Yes, you are. No, you aren't. Are you late? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. And so on, okay? So here, I have an uh, exercise for you, and it says, write a question and affirmative and negative answers for each question. 
¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a eh, escribir, ¿verdad? Las, las preguntas, ¿verdad? Bueno, básicamente ya casi que están, pero necesito que trabajemos en esto un poquito porque solo yo he estado hablando. And then you have to choose one or two of these uh, small boxes, ¿verdad? Necesito que cada uno retome una de esta, una o dos de estas cajitas, ¿verdad? Y que vea cómo, cómo lo hemos trabajado. For example, they friends. ¿Cómo hago la pregunta? Are they your friends? Yes, they are. No, they are not. Or no, they aren't. So I would like that you can uh, perform these short conversations and that you can do the right intonation for the questions and that you can do the right pronunciation of the contractions. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Eh, vamos a trabajar en grupos. We are going to go to the breakout rooms. Vamos a ir a los pequeños salones. And I need that in each group, each person can perform one of these small, small conversations. Que en cada grupo, ¿verdad? Uno de los integrantes promueva estas pequeñas y cortas conversaciones con su compañero, ¿verdad? Y puedan proveer las preguntas y las respuestas. Eh, perdón, uno hace las preguntas, el otro provee las respuestas. Pero al final todos habrán pasado por realizar preguntas y por eh, responder, ¿verdad? So, is it clear? ¿Estamos claros? ¿Qué esperamos? Que se haga una adecuada entonación de la pregunta y que se haga una adecuada contracción si su respuesta va a ser negativa, por ejemplo. Y you can take a picture if you want. Usted puede tomarle una imagen también a la pantalla si usted así lo desea. Ok. Do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas hasta acá? No. Ok, so the idea is that you can practice your speaking, right? La idea es que usted pueda practicar la entonación a la hora de formular las preguntas y a la hora de eh, proveer las respuestas. So I'm going to invite you to the breakout rooms and we're going to have so the, solamente de Ok. Seven, let's create the rooms and I'm inviting you. Please join. Por favor, una sea la invitación. ¿Qué pasó? Hello, hello, Lourdes, Edson, and Claudia, and Elena. Do you have questions or do you have problems by joining the groups? ¿Tienen alguna dificultad, compañeros, con el internet para unirse a los grupos? En mi caso, sí. No, no sé qué pasó, pero me sacó. Ok, déjeme intentar de nuevo. Si no, lo que vamos a hacer es que si hacen un segundo intento y la sacan, no se preocupen, quédense aquí en el salón principal y pueden trabajar el grupito pequeño que se ha quedado, ¿sí? Okay. Nada más que me voy a ausentar porque yo sí tengo que verificar que en los grupos se esté haciendo la dinámica. Entonces déjenme reenviarle la invitación y vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Voy, estoy probando, Lourdes, a ver si le vuelve a llegar la invitación. Ok, ahorita. Ok, gracias.
Um, yes, he is. Sí, ¿verdad? Okay, sí. Creo que aquí hay un error. Porque dice, is he at home? Está él en casa y la respuesta es, yes, yes. she is. Mm -hmm. O sea, mm -hmm. ella sí está o ella no está. Hello, do you have a question? Tenemos preguntita, ¿en cuál están ahorita, compañera? Yeah. Number three. Number uh, three, just let me watch the image. Vamos a ver. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Yes, please. Uh, I'm looking for number three. Yes, there's a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You need to add the letter S instead of he is she. I'm sorry, I apologize. I missed the letter S. Okay, yeah, we are talking about she. I'm sorry. I will correct my slide. Thank you so much for for uh, reviewing it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Teacher. Excellent. Thank you. If you don't have questions, I will be around uh, the other groups. And if you okay. need me, just call me back. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We, we don't have questions. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Excellent. No, it isn't. Ah, okay. Dice que ya vamos a salir. Hello, is everything okay Ay, here? Hola. ¿Todavía <laughs> por acá? <laughs> no, just a Hello. long time. Todavía tienen tiempo. I'm just here ah, okay. to see if you have questions. Solo estoy okay. pasando para ver si tienen preguntas. Eh, uh, any doubts. No? Is everything okay? Um, en la pronunciación de algunas, no, no me las no las conozco yo, can, por ejemplo. Can you tell me, por Ajá, es We at the cinema, o sea, ¿sí, ¿es así? Cinema, yes, cinema, yes. Cinema. Pero ese we at, que está así como, o quiere decir que podemos usar cualquiera de los dos, we o at. No, es que oh. la, la idea es que teníamos que hacer la pregunta, pero el ejercicio ya está resuelto, ¿verdad? Sí. Dice we at the cinema, entonces la pregunta la formula ah, okay. agregando are at the beginning of the sentence. Are we at the cinema? Yes, we uh -huh. are or no, we aren't. Entonces, ustedes deciden cuando hagan su short conversation, ¿cuál respuesta van a dar? Si sí o si no, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, entonces así lo hicimos. Sí, okay. excelente. Uh -huh. Bueno, okay. gracias. Ok, see you in a minute. Lo veo en un minutito, ok? Ok. Excelente, see you. Sí. Okay. Hello, hello, is everything okay here? Todo bien por acá en este grupo? Hello, Edson, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Me lo dejaron solito, Edson, no entraron las compañeras o compañeros, o se salieron. Sí. Eh, entró una, pero como que no me escuchaba. Sí, están teniendo problemas con el internet, me disculpo, pero ya el ejercicio está por finalizar y regresamos y voy a reacomodar los grupos para el okay. próximo ejercicio. Ok, Gracias. thank you, see you in a minute. Hello, welcome back. Who was the practice? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? Good. Excellent. Good. I know it was a short time, but the idea was that you can um, pronounce the questions and give the proper intonation. So I will ask uh, two groups to show us what you did. Me gustaría pedirle a los grupos que nos puedan mostrar qué hicieron, because I couldn't go to all of them. No pude ir a todos los grupos. Uh, since I was solving some internet problems with some other groups. Estuve viendo que algunos compañeros tuvieron problemas de internet y no pudieron ingresar a sus grupos. Uh, so I will 
just um, reunify the group for the next uh, dynamic. Para la siguiente dinámica vamos a reunificar eh, los equipos. Ok, so who wants to start? ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Vamos a ver. Let's see, vamos a ver si no vamos a empezar con el dedito acusador. <ríe> vamos a ver. Let's see. Eh, Ulises, Ulises Martínez and team. Vamos a ver, Ulises. Would you like to share with us what you did? What questions did you choose? ¿Qué preguntas escogieron, Ulises, con su equipo? Eh, bueno, las hicimos todas. Ok, so can you please choose one to ask a, a partner? Puede por favor usted escoger una para preguntarle a una compañera o compañero y después su compañera o compañero le va a preguntar a usted. Yes. Ok, please, go ahead. Adelante. Ok. Eh, Lily. Ok. ¿Es Tom happy? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Now, um, Are you bored? Ulises, are you bored? Yes, I am. Uh, no, I am not. No, I'm not. Okay, who else was in your team? ¿Quién más estuvo en su equipo? Uh, David who... Mejia, but uh, the microphone, it doesn't work. Okay, okay, don't worry about it. Thank you, thank you, you two, for participating. Thank you very much. Ok, let's see another team. Vamos a ver un equipo más. Eh, gracias, Lili y Ulises. Uh, let's see a uh, Mari, Mari Alas. Were you able to participate with your team? ¿Pudieron participar? No sé si Mari nos escucha. Vamos a ver. Ok, el equipo de Stephanie Alas. Yes. Would you like to share a couple of questions with us, please? Ok, um, I'm going to choose Wendy. Ok, Wendy, please. Ok. Ok, is, is she at home? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Okay, thank you. Now you ask Stephanie. Ahora escoja una para Stephanie. Um, it is your, your birthday. Stephanie, it is your birthday. Is it your birthday? No sé si Stephanie nos escucha, Wendy, pero it's ok. Ok. Oh, ok, creo que ya no nos escuchó. Ok, it's ok. The idea was, ahí está Stephanie. Hello. Hello, Stephanie. <laughs> Wendy, was, <laughs> Wendy was asking if, is it your birthday? <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Uh, or no, it isn't. Ok, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing, my dears, or I will just advance. Thank you very much. Okay, because of the time, I won't ask you all of you to participate, but I see that you were practicing in the, in the group, and that's the idea. ¿verdad? La idea es que usted practique en los grupos, eh, porque recuerde que this is your speaking session. Esta es su sección para hablar, ¿verdad? Uh, for practicing your pronunciation. Okay, for the yes, no questions, uh, using demonstrative pronouns, you need to know that the structure of these questions is be plus the demonstrative pronoun plus the object. For example, here, is this a cat? Uh, here we have, remember that we use this for singular clothes, objects, or things. And we use these with a more uh, open, um, E for singulars. Are these cats? In this case, we are talking about plural closed objects. And we use that 
for far singular objects and those for far um, plural objects or things. Is that a verb or are those verbs? Okay. In all cases, the, the affirmative answer is yes. If, if it's only singular, you say yes, it is. Or if it's plural, you say yes, they are. Okay? So, it, remember that the form of these questions is the verb be plus the demonstrative pronoun plus the object. For example, example is this a doll or are these dolls? Remember that this is one thing near that is one thing far, these two or more things near, and those two or more things far. Okay, here, uh, the exercise says, answer this question, these kind of questions with yes or no, followed by the subject and do not or does not. Okay, remember that uh, we can use the apostrophe. For example, do you have a dog? You can say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Does he have a dog? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't, right? Or no, he does not. This is another type of question. Vea, este es otro tipo de pregunta where we are not using verb be anymore. We are using do and does. Pero también son re preguntas de respuesta de yes, no, o sí o no, ¿verdad? Porque son respuestas cortas. The only thing that changed is that we don't use be, but we use do or does. La única cosa que cambia es que ya no utilizamos el verbo be, sino que do o does. For example, do you have an apple? Yes, I do, you can say. Or no, I don't, right? Uh, do I have an apple? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Um, do we have an apple? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Do they have an apple? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does she? Vea, cuando utilizamos he, she, it, we use the auxiliary does. Does she has, en este caso, have, excuse me. Does she have an apple? ¿Por qué decimos have? Porque estamos utilizando el auxiliary does at the beginning. Si fuera una respuesta negativa, eh, perdón, afirmativa, como está acá, diríamos, yes, she does. Vea que aquí sí ya tengo que utilizar el does para he, para she y para it. ¿Por qué razón? Why? Because this is an affirmative sentence. Esta es una oración afirmativa y en ese caso sí yo tengo que respetar que para he, she, it, I use does. But when I'm formulating a question, I don't need to change the verb. ¿verdad? Cuando, cuando estoy formulando una pregunta, no tengo que cambiar el verbo principal a la tercera persona, porque aquí tengo el auxiliar does. Does she have an apple? Yes, she does. Does he have an apple? Yes, he does. Does it have an apple? Yes, it does. And also, I can answer in the negative way. No, she doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, and they are also... Yes, no questions, okay? Okay, here I have a short conversation, two short conversations for you. The first one, do you speak Spanish? No, I speak Portuguese and English. Are you from Portugal? No, I am from Brazil. Wow, are you a student? No, I'm a writer. How about you? Do you speak Spanish? Yes, I study Spanish. Have you been to Spain? No, but I went to Mexico last year. Okay, this is one conversation in the uh, left side. Let's see the right side. In the right side, the conversation goes like this. Do you drive to work? No, I usually take the train. How long does it take? It usually takes an hour. Um, you can say to get there or to arrive, right? Wow, do you, do you read on the train? Vea la expresión que se usa. Do you read on the train? Eso es, ¿lees en el tren? Cuando vas en el tren. No, I usually listen to music. Look this other verb, listen to music. Este verbo siempre va, es un two-word verb. Es un verbo de dos palabras. Siempre decimos listen to. Listen to your teacher, listen to your mother, listen to your boss, listen to music, eh, and so on. 
listen to the song, for example. How about you? Do you drive to work? No, I take the bus. Do you read on the bus? Yes, I read a lot, a lot of books. Okay. So what we are going to do now is to have a more clear use of the yes no questions. Vea, para esto es que se utilizan las yes no questions en la vida real, ¿verdad? Eh, normalmente respondemos sí no y a veces damos alguna información adicional, ¿verdad? Aunque no estamos obligados, ¿verdad? Porque no es una WH question. Basically, the difference between a yes no question and a, and a WH question is that in the WH questions, you need to give more information. That's why they are called information questions. Ok, la diferencia, ¿verdad? Entre estas preguntas y las de WH, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Cuáles son las de WH? What, when, where, why, who, whom. Con esas sí tenemos que dar additional information. Siempre, siempre tenemos que dar información adicional. Or the information they are asking. But in this case, you just can say yes or no. And only if you want, you can add more information. Ok, do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas hasta acá? No. Ok, I'm going to stop sharing and now it's your turn to speak. Ahora es su eh, espacio para hablar. So I will invite you again to the breakout rooms and you decide which conversation would you like to perform. Vamos a ir de nuevo a los breakout rooms eh, y ustedes van a decidir cuál conversación quieren eh, trabajar. This time you're going to be in pairs. Esta vez nos vamos a poner en pareja, solo me voy a asegurar que realmente todos puedan. Eh, vamos a crear. Ok. Para que todos puedan tener a alguien con quien participar. Y si no, nos va a tocar reformar los grupos. Ok, please, please join when you receive the invitation. You decide which conversation would you like to practice with your partner. Usted decide cuál conversación de las dos desea eh, practicar con su compañero o compañera. Remember that this is real life conversations using yes no question. Estas son conversaciones de la vida real utilizando preguntas y respuestas de sí y no. Okay, join, please. Probablemente haya grupo donde hayan tres, ¿verdad? Cuando no logre tener las parejas, vamos a tener tríos. Hello, Claudia, David, Douglas, Elena. Do you have a problem joining your groups? Tenemos dificultades al unirse a los grupos, mis estimados, David, Elena, and Douglas. Okay. 
Okay, uh, you can continue working in the main room, okay? Quienes tienen problemas para unirse a los grupos, eh, pueden continuar en el salón principal, pero traten por favor de hacer, el, de, to perform the conversation. Si pudieran comunicarse vía chat, entre ustedes sería genial, ¿verdad? Ok. And Daniela, if you want, uh, I can I can ask you. Okay. okay. Uh, do you drive to work? No, I usually. But but I went. But ah okay no, but I went to Mexican mm -hmm. last year. That's it. Uh -huh. okay. But. Solo tengo duda en esto. ¿Por qué? Do you have questions? May I help you? ¿Tiene preguntitas? ¿Le puedo ayudar? Ajá. ¿Y cómo se pronuncia eso? ¿Portugués? No, no sé. Eh, ¿cuál, ¿Cuál, perdón? ¿Which one? La, de, en la segunda, en la, prim, en la primera conversación dice, no, I speak portugués. Por, portu, eh, ah, eh, portugués. Portugués. El, el, el idioma es portugués y el país es Portugal. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Gis, portugués, el idioma y el país Portugal. ¿Y, y cómo se pronuncia en hasta abajo? Dice... ¿A, ¿A dónde? En el B, ¿Eh? la penúltima. Have uh -huh. you been to Spain? Have you been, been. to Spain? Been. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué significa? ¿Has estado en uh -huh. España? Uh -huh. Ah, está. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. Thank okay. you. That's You're nice. welcome. See you in a minute. Lo veo un minutito, okay? Uh -huh. okay. Ah. It usually takes about an hour. Wow, do you read on the Um, over. Wow, do you read on the train? No, I usually listen to music. Una que había un, que era treba, había una que nos estaba enseñando cómo se pronunciaba, pero ahí fue que nos sacaron. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. Hello, my dears. Do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntitas? No, no. Ok. Excelente. I call you back in a minute. Lo llamo en un minutito. Ok. okay? Excelente. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hello, hello, welcome back. People is coming back from the practice. So we are going to show in the main room what we did. So we are going to have two groups, one performing the first conversation and the second group performing the second one. So just wait for me when I, um, just a couple of seconds for people to complete coming back.
Okay. Okay, we have 17 uh, uh, participants back. So I would like to ask you, who wants or who would like, which team would like to participate with the uh, first conversation? Eh, ¿qué equipo, ¿A qué equipo le gustaría presentarnos la primera conversación? A nosotros. Ok, please. Con Lili. Adelante. Ok, adelante. Please go ahead. Adelante. Ok. 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 ¿Do you speak Spanish? No, I speak Portuguese and English. ¿Are you from Portugal? No, I'm from Brazil. Wow, ¿are you a student? No, I am a writer. How about you? Do you speak Spanish? Yes, I speak Spanish. Have you been to Spain? No, but I went to Mexico last year. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Congratulations. You did a great job. Hicieron muy buen trabajo. Con Spain, en general, nos cuesta, ¿verdad? Porque en español no tenemos ese fonema de la S y la P juntas, sin una vocal acá. Entonces, a veces tendemos a ponerle la E. Entonces, solo para make, make sure, ¿verdad? Solo quiero asegurarme de que esta pronunciación la hacemos bien todos y decimos, como que vamos a decir sí, ¿verdad? Y luego Spain, Spain, para evitar ponerle una E de más al inicio, but uh, in general, everything is okay. Okay, second team, el siguiente equipo. Uh, what about the second conversation? Let's see who would like to participate. Hi. Okay, please go ahead. Adelante. But uh, with Lily again, <laughs> or I don't know, other person. Okay, let's see. Dan Daniela, Me. ¿verdad? Yes. Me. Okay. Daniela and who said me? Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie, please go ahead. Okay, ask me, Dani, please. Okay, do you drive to work? No, I usually take a train. How long does it take? It usually takes about an hour. Wow, do you really, do you read on the train? No, I usually listen to music. How about you? Do you drive to work? No, I take the bus. Do you read on the bus? Yes, I read a lot, a lot of books. Excellent, very good. I like that, okay? So if you see they are uh, daily life conversations, one is about speaking a language and the other one is the way to get uh, to, get to work. And in, oh, in these two conversations, we, we can see the yes, no questions, right? Uh, so that's uh, very important that uh, you can know the difference between a yes, no question and a, um, let's see, WH question. Thank you very much, my dear participants. Okay, uh, because of the time, I um, just will introduce the second topic that I have for you tonight. So let me just wait a second for me. Vamos a esperar un segundito por mí. Solo voy a dejarles planteado eh, el tema, ¿verdad? Eh, para eh, mañana. So just let, just wait a minute for me. So I would like to ask you, how was the platform? Eh, antes de, de continuar, me gustaría preguntar cómo estuvo en la plataforma because I know that uh, we have some inconveniences last week. And I would like to know if you have been able to advance. Me gustaría saber si pudieron avanzar. And if you have questions so far. Y si tienen preguntas, ¿verdad? Hasta acá. Sobre lo que hay en la plataforma. O estamos todos bien. Sí. Okay, excellent. Remember that if you have questions, you can contact me. Si tienen preguntas eh, y no, bueno, el grupo ha sido excelente. Let me congratulate you. Quiero felicitarlos, ¿verdad? El grupo ha sido muy bueno, han sido muy solidarios. You, you're really building a supportive and learning community, right? Eh, because that's the idea, that you can help each other, that you can learn what you know, and that you can learn from others. So I congratulate you because you were able to participate, to learn, and advance, ok? 
¿Okay? Quiero felicitarlos porque eh, veo que están con, construyendo una verdadera comunidad de aprendizaje. Las comunidades de aprendizaje son eso, ¿verdad? Donde compartimos dudas, podemos obtener respuestas y si sabemos el cómo, también podemos compartir lo que sabemos y eso es excelente. Remember that we are now in the eh, 20th century when we are in the knowledge era. Estamos en el siglo XX, ¿verdad? En el siglo de la era del conocimiento where knowledge is highly appreciated to share. Donde apreciamos altamente que el conocimiento sea compartido. Así que les felicito porque vi que estuvieron compartiendo. Of course, if you have extra questions, I can help. Si usted tiene preguntas adicionales, yo puedo ayudar in, eh, in the group or directly if you prefer so. En el grupo o si usted prefiere directamente hacer la pregunta. Okay, so we are going to start with the next topic that it's for tomorrow. So I'm, just let me introduce what it is. And then for tomorrow, we are going to have the exercises. So what is a preposition? A preposition is a word that shows the relationship between a noun, a pronoun, or some other word or element in the rest of the sentence. Some examples of prepositions are with, at, from, into, during, including, until, about, like, over, before, between, including, after, except, but, up, out, around, down, and off. Okay, so tomorrow we are going to have more exercises, but I have here some um, images for you. And we can say that the bird is over the box. If you see here, I have a bird. So let me show you with my spotlight. So here we have a bird over the box. No podemos decir que está on because the bird is not touching the surface. Si usted se fija, el pájaro no está tocando la superficie de la caja. Entonces está over, arriba de, over the box. Now here the bird is among the cats, ¿verdad? En medio de los gatos. The bird is near the cat, near. You can say close also. The bird is down the tree, down the tree. Abajo, ¿verdad? O se está hacia, oh, cayéndose del árbol o abajo del árbol. The bird is far from the cat. If you see the cat is here and the bird is here, so they are far. It's the opposite to near. And here the bird go past the tree. Es como pasando, ¿verdad? Eh, va pasando por el árbol. Okay, so that, eh, those are the prepositions that we are going to study uh, for tomorrow. And just let me advance. Here I have more. For example, the cat is on the box. In this case, yes. The cat is touching the surface of the box. En este caso, el gato sí está tocando la superficie de la caja, entonces decimos on. Remember that on is uh, talking about prepositions of place uh, on a surface. Okay? The cat is in the box, right? In the box. The cat is next to or beside. Next to is a synonym of beside the box. So the position is this. Remember that the preposition is regarding the position eh, of an object with other. Recuerda que la preposición es describir, de ¿verdad? El, el lugar que tiene un objeto en relación a otro. So in this case, we are talking about the cat and the box. The cat is in front of the box. Sorry, here I have a, a, a short mistake. Off. Aquí vamos a poner en una... F, okay. Sorry, I apologize. Okay, the cat is in front of the box. The cat is behind, behind the box, right? So behind. The cat here is between the boxes, right? The, heart is be the cat is between the boxes, so that's the position. The cat is under the box, under. The cat is through, through the box, a través de, ¿verdad? La caja. And here, the cats are around the box, alrededor, ¿verdad? De la caja, around the box. 
¿Cuál es la diferencia? Around, alrededor de. Y la otra que estábamos viendo, among, es en medio de o entre, ¿verdad? El pajarito o el pájaro, the bird is among the cats. El pájaro está en medio de los gatos. Okay, uh, for tomorrow we are going to go deeper. Para mañana vamos a ir un poquito más eh, a fondo con esto because we are going to identify the difference between prepositions of place and prepositions of time. Mañana vamos a entrar un poco más de lleno en este tema, ¿verdad? Para conocer lo que son las preposiciones de lugar y de tiempo. But now I would like just to show you which part of the platform is this. And we are going to work with the 2.8 lesson objective that says, in this class, you will learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects, okay? So I will appreciate if you go to the platform and if you watch this video that specifically talks about the prepositions in, in front of, behind, on, next to, under. So here you have um, an example regarding a box and some keys, okay? So here the keys are behind, behind the box, the keys are on the box, the keys are next to the box, the keys are in the box, the keys are in front of the box, and here the keys are under the box. So this video shows you the way the prepositions of place are used, and you can add your opinions in the forum. After we finish this, we are going to be able to complete the 2.10 knowledge check, right? In the knowledge check says, look at the pictures and input the correct answer in blank. Then listen and check your answer. So here you have to expand. If you expand here, you will be uh, watching this wider. Si usted expande aquí, ¿verdad? Usted va a poder ver esta imagen mucho más amplia. And here you have different objects. And here you have the books are. So you need to say where the books are, right? Here in this. Uh, the DVD player is, okay? The books are here. The DVD player is here. The map is, it's the position three. And then we have the chair is, the position four. And then you have the wallet is. Remember that the wallet is the small one. La billetera es la más pequeña, ¿verdad? And the other one is like a bag, okay? Una, la, la más grande se llama bag o cartera, ¿verdad? Y el wallet es la más pequeña, la billetera. The cell phone is. Okay, so you need to open this window and when you open this window you will be moved to this audio so i highly recommend you to download the audio and listen again and you practice the pronunciation of the prepositions and then complete this knowledge check okay later in this uh, part you will have the 2.11 lesson objective so we are going to continue about uh, the location of other uh, people's objects, right? So in here, uh, you have another uh, knowledge check, right? Where's, where are Kate's things? So again, we are going to practice the prepositions under the table, in front of television, on the chair, in the porch. And in this case, they don't say bag, they say purse. Están utilizando un sinónimo de bag o bolso y dicen purse, okay? It's okay. Es un sinónimo, ¿verdad? Okay, so those are the possible choices. So you need to, to look for Kate's earrings, los jaritos de Kate, ¿verdad? Eh, Kate's watch, el reloj de Kate. Ya dijimos que watch is the one on your hand. El watch es el que está en su mano, in your um, arm, en su brazo. And the other one is from the wall. Y el clock es el que va en la pared. Okay. Uh, Kate's sunglasses, Kate's address book, and that's it. Y eso es el, el próximo ejercicio que tendríamos que llenar in the 12.12 and uh, 12, the 12.11 uh, 
is the instructions. And after we finish that, so by tomorrow, I expect that we can start with the section number three. Para mañana, verdad, vamos a concluir este tema de las prepositions in the half part of the class, in la primera parte de la clase. And then we're going to start um, this lesson objective of the three um, section, right? And then we are going to continue talking about WH questions uh, in a future uh, lesson. Do we have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas hasta acá? No. No? Is everything okay? No. Excellent. No. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, I will upload the presentations uh, by tomorrow when we finish this topic in order to close the section two. Para mañana yo les, les remito, ¿verdad? Las, los accesos o, o más bien subo las presentaciones al link del drive que ya les compartí de lo que sería toda la sección dos. And for you to have them just in case you need it, okay? I hope you can be safe and I hope to see you tomorrow, my dear participants, okay? Bye bye and bye. good night. Bye, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.